Hey guys, Kev here, and I just want to do a quick uh, overview and let you know that the Growler V2 is dropping at White Mountain Knives tomorrow, today. I'm not sure which day I'm posting this, but it's March 4th, Monday, March 4th at noon Eastern. So noon Eastern time, these will be dropping at White Mountain Knives. There's three versions, all have weave carbon fiber. You have purple, black, and blue accents. And then obviously you have a bead blasted blade, a black wash blade, and a two-way machine, and then horizontal satin. Um, these are all in 154 CM steel. They will all come with the wire pocket clip. This one I just have, because it's my personal one. Um, that I've been carrying for a few months. And they're gonna retail at 109. You can use code Lefty10 or any of your favorite YouTubers codes at White Mountain and you'll get 10% off, which will knock this guy down to about $100. I think it's like $99 after you use the code. And um, so I hope you guys are excited for these. Um, we've been getting questions about the V2 since we did the initial drop and everybody loved this version right here in carbon fiber with blue accents uh, and the two-way satin blade. And we decided, you know what, we'll do a quick rerun of those and we'll grab all carbon fibers and we'll just do a couple different pops of color and black one out, et cetera, right? So that was the move that we went with there. We didn't order a ton of them. We just kind of did a rerun of 300. And then uh, we have like 30 that we kept for shows and stuff, uh, like Blade Texas we were just at. So there's about 270 of these dropping, probably closer to 250, um, depending on how White Mountain does it with their uh, return policy and everything. They might hold some. But um, yeah, 250 to 270 uh, of these. And um, there's more of the blue with two-way than there are of the other two because this one was so popular. We had, I think when we did the reorder, White Mountain said he had like 400 people sign or 200 people signed up for this knife specifically on their email wait list. So we wanted to make sure we ordered more of these. Um, so I think we ordered uh, 150 of these, and then we did 75 each of these. Um, so just so you know, it might be a little easier to get this one. Um, we also ordered hardware kits. So there are some hardware kits as well. They will fit the V2s that dropped previously. So if you got one of those V2s, you can use the hardware kits. Um, I think we, this time, I'm not positive, check their website, but I think we did blue, purple, we probably did black, we probably did a satin or a bead blast, one or the other, or both, um, and then we usually do a bronze as well, so those are probably the colors you'll see, and I gotta say, I think they'll all look good with all of those, somebody was asking me, you know, what would the purple look like with the satin blade, you know, I think that would look really good. Um, you know, if you took the black and put it on the satin blade, I think that would look really good. Um, you know, black on bead blasted, I think would look mean as hell too. Um, you could take purple on the black one. That would look fire. Blue on the black one. You get the point here. I think they all kind of look good with each other so you can kind of just go with whatever um, floats your boat on that um i think the hardware kits i don't know what those are going to cost honestly um they might be 30 bucks or something like that um but uh yeah that's pretty much it i, I just wanted to let you guys know they were dropping i haven't we haven't done a bunch of hoorah about it. Uh, we haven't sent a bunch of these out to people for reviews because we did the drop previously. Um, we don't have a ton of them. Um, so, yeah, kind of just is what it is. We're doing a second batch, and we hope you're excited about it. I think 
the value proposition here is is very good. Um, a hundred dollars, and you get one fifty four cm. You get a weave carbon fiber that's contoured. You get all titanium heart, excuse me, hardware collars, backspacer, steel wire clip, and then you get your choice of anodization and uh, blade finish, right? Um, I've had a bead blasted, uh, sand washed one of these for months and months now and have had zero issues. So if you like the aesthetic of this, I don't think there's any corrosion concerns, uh, any normal ones anyway, but depending on your situation, you know, you might want to go all blacked out and get the black wash. This is my favorite one. I'd say. Um, it just really pops. I could see uh, people wanting this one and then throwing different colors on it. That would look pretty sick, right? Uh, one thing I want to note is I'm fairly positive the kits are just collars and backspacer. So you're not getting all the crazy, uh, you're not getting all the hardware. I think previously on the V2 when we did them, they came with um, screws as well that were anodized. And I, I just think that looks a little tacky um, what we what we really wanted was just collars and backspacer um, and then it keeps everything else you know whatever color you already had it um, some people will like that some people will disagree but that's just what we did um, I'll double check the price and let White Mountain know when we dropped the um, when we did the mash 2.5s I think we did them for 25 bucks so I'll see if I can get that matched um, because I think last time it was the full kit. But I'll double check all that and let them know. But um, yeah, they're ready to go. They're shipping. There's no pre-order or anything like that. Um, if you guys have questions, please let me know. Um, I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Uh, my plan was to get this video up, I think, tonight on the 3rd so that you guys have some, you know, uh, time to watch the video and know about the drop. I did do a disassembly video the other day, and um, I talked about it there, so it's uh, possible that, you know, I, I did get the word out enough. Did I just chip this blade? I might have just throwing around blades here. What about this one? I think this one's good. I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. I, I hope you guys enjoy these. Um, this is one of my favorite models. I carry a growler pretty uh, regularly. It's just a super comfortable knife in the hand. It's a good size knife. Um, nice and thin, but tall. Um, very, very slicey knife. Um, that's one thing that I really love about this knife is if you need to slice some stuff up, this is a great one for that. It's our only knife that doesn't have basically a warning or a sheep's foot, right? This is sort of a, uh, clip point, drop point, whatever you want to call it. Um, a belly's clip, we like to call it. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. Thank you guys for checking the video out. Thank you so much for all the support we truly appreciate it uh let me know if you guys have any questions i love you i hope you have a fantastic day and uh i'll catch you later peace